champagne player's performance of our all original word, Macbeth, or die trying. and shadow, science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. It is the dimension of imagination, an area we call theater. <laughs> the troupe, the champagne players of Tor, happy, eccentric, suffering from delusions of grandeur, confident they can overcome heat, rashes, and bad luck with charms and superstition. <laughs> the production, Macbeth, a play with a history as spotted in macabre accidents as Lady Macbeth's hands. The author, one William Shakespeare, who even now is spinning in his grave too much to be bothered. I tried. He told me to sod off. <laughs> Actors versus play, a warfare waged in countless other stages and countless other productions. But this is no ordinary presentation. It's a presentation for the Twilight... Stone! Get your stone here! Bretstone! Mud pies! All flavors! What in the name of Shakespeare's father are you doing? I'm making a living! So as it is. Do you have to do it in the middle of my introduction? Well, these stones ain't gonna sell themselves, you know. And besides, it's, well, it's almost twilight. And that is the best time for stone. Get off my stage. Are you repressing me? Help! Help! I'm being repressed! Help! I'll take the whole thing. All oh, right, that'll be three turnips then. Turnips? Oh, I, I don't have any turnips. Oh dear, but it's your rotten luck then. Stone! Get your stone here! Fresh stone! How about, how about a nice hat in exchange? A hat, you said? Yes, a lovely hat in return for your absence. Well, don't you want the stones then? Yes, I gave you the hat for the stones. No, wait, 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 wait. Now, is the is hat for me, or is it for the stones? <laughs> it's for the stones. Oh, to write you off. <laughs> what? No, you go away with the hat. <coughs> Can't do that, sir, the hat's for the stones. I gave you the hat for the stones. And that is a right noble thing you did, my lord, because these stones look really comfy. <laughs> look, you take the hat, I take the stones, we both leave. With the hat? Yes. So do we leave the basket here, then? <laughs> See here, the violence inherent in the sister! <laughs> <laughs> sister, where hast thou been? Killing swine! <laughs> cap that was placed here to warn off evil, uh, spirits. But, uh, sister, it must be here somewhere. Mayhaps it blew over the horizon somewhere way over there. A drum! A drum! Macbeth! <laughs> so foul and fair a day I not see. What are these so wild and withered in their attire? Hey! Live you, 
Or are you aught that man may question? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Speak if you can. What are you? Hello, Hector! Hey, Hello to thee, Thane of Glanis. Hast thou seen the whereabouts of the special cap? Um, special cap? Thou special cap set on yon springy knoll that proxy dictates, if not on the springy knoll, the horrible tragedy shall befall all who do shot upon it? Oh, oh, that special cap! No, but uh, tis so important. Oh, hail, Macbeth! Hail to thee, Thane of Hodor! <laughs> May not the cap or his points back in the cave, my spirits are missing! What?! The cap, it's not out there! You put it out there, right? Noble partner, you do greet with present grace and great tradition. Speak then to me, who neither beg nor feel your favor, nor your age. <laughs> Hell! 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 That's a bit of bad luck there, Doyle. <laughs> Lesser than Macbeth, and greater. Not so happy, and yet much happier. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, 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 worthy Cador. Has anyone found that cap yet? It's not back here. We've looked everywhere. If we don't find that cap, we're seriously screwed. Where's Matilda? She's gone! I don't know. That's her in the study. Matilda, come on! Oh. He purposes. Oh, never shall. Son of our sea. We shall speak of this further. Yes, it's the curse of 
the cap. The cap is missing. Which has made her. them drunk. Or pass me with you. Shut up so I can finish my lines. <laughs> Bite it, me. Oh. <laughs> Most foully for it. 
Yet it was said it should not stand in thy posterity, but that myself should be root and father of many kings. But hush! No more. Don't tell you! Can't we just pull a nail out or something? I wouldn't do that if I were you. It's a lovely cloak! Just pull out the nail! Okay. Ah! Here is our noble guest. Tonight we hope a solemn supper, sir, and I shall be requesting your presence. Ride you this afternoon? Aye, my good lord. Is it far you ride? As far, my lord, as will carry me to this and supper. <laughs> Fail not our feast. My lord, I will not. Just a little farther, it's almost loose. Then I wish your horse ashore and speak a foot, and thus do I do commend you to their backs. in Banco stick deep. It is only he whose being do I fear. Who's there? I said who's there! It is us, so please, Lord. No, you Banco was your enemy. True, my lord. So he is mine. We will, my lord, perform as you command. We are resolved, my lord. I shall ask for you straight. Abide within. It is concluded. Banquo, thy soul's flight, if it should find heaven, must find it out tonight. What the bloody hell happened? I'm going to get it. 
well, don't you? <laughs> to the sword, his wife and his children, and any unfortunate soul that should follow in his line. Ha 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 ha! But he your hair. I only have one real scene in this entire godforsaken play. And I will say my line. But what? Signifying nothing. Lessons learned the hard way on a blissful midsummer's eve. Herein, the twilight. Stone, get your stone here, 
Touchstone! Oh, mud. Bye. Yeah. Ah!